What's good, Wealth Builders? Here we are at the end of another year. 2023 is coming to a close. And then there's been so much craziness going on, right? Not just with me, but the world itself, right? It's, it's, it's just been crazy. Now, it will be hard to pack it all in one video. So I'm just going to pack in 23 of the most vital and life-changing things for me that I've learned in this past year, okay? We're going to talk about family, relationships, sex, money, and business, right? We're going to talk about it all. But before we do all that, Allow me to reintroduce myself. my name is Devon, put in work, Burke, and I'm just like you. A hardworking man that grew tired of the grind and wanted to learn how to make more money, save more money while building a better me and business. And now I'm here to teach you the same. So with that being said, subscribe to the channel and like this video. Okay, so I'm going to start this off by saying that I know this is not my regular style of video, but hey, right? We're gonna run with it, right? Use the camera as my, my, my mirror. Color looking crazy. Like, so let's start this off with what I've learned about business and YouTube in 2023. Like, let's start it off with that. 10,000 subscribers don't mean jack when it comes to YouTube. It's almost like having a thousand subscribers. Now, I focused so hard on getting to 10,000 subscribers, I kind of lost my way. And in my head, I thought the two, these two things would happen, right? First, I was gonna get at least 500 to $1,000 or even more a month from AdSense. And second, my subscribers would explode once I landed at 10,000 subs. But in reality, none of that happened. <laughs> In reality, it almost made me give up on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Then I realized it's all about the views and watch time. My YouTube and website are all about business, but are still too broad. I haven't niched down enough. I've tried too much on too many topics within business. I haven't been focused enough. I need to drill down and drill down a little bit more and stay focused. Number two, don't rush the process. Trust the process. Your process is your process. Don't let the world around you pressure you to move faster than you're ready for, right? Also, create a process that fits you and your personality. Don't try to change who you are at the core to fit the mold that other people have made work for them. You need to be just that, you. Number three, forgive yourself. Everyone makes mistakes, and it's not always going to be fun. Even if you love what you do, sometimes it's going to be hard, way harder than you expected. You have to fight through your mistakes and learn from them. Life happens to us all. Don't beat yourself up over the past. Getting fired hurts. No matter what job you're doing, getting fired will really, really hurt your ego. It doesn't matter if you hate that job and every time you go in, you want to smack the ish out of your boss. When you get fired, it's a whole new ball game. Trust and believe. Number five, you have to learn a high income skill. I don't care if you have a great job or you're running a great business if you're not wealthy, then you should learn a high income skill. You never know when things will go south on you and you will be left high and dry, okay? So definitely do that. Number six, spending 10 years at a job and leaving it is not easy. Leaving something you've been doing for years and years and years and being there day in and day out, all that good stuff, it comes a part of you. 
and then you up and leave that, it will have you feeling empty inside. I don't think I would, I didn't think I would miss my coworkers very much or the job I was doing very much. But once I left, I did. And I still do. But life, it moves on, right? So we got to move on. Number seven, love yourself first. You have to love you and take care of you. This has to be done before you can love anyone else. Number eight, consistency is all you have. At the end of the day, right? At the end of the day, in this world of ups and downs, consistency is all you will ever have. If you're going to do something to make your life better, be consistent. Persistent. Number nine, money comes and goes. But it feels so much better when you have it. Life feels so much lighter when you have the money to pay for life. You can think much clearer when you have money and not worried about your car getting repoed or getting evicted from your place. Life is just so much better when money is taken care of. Number 10, in 2003, I've learned I miss having friends. One thing about me is that I'm a loner. I could spend time by myself and not really think about it, right? But I realized this year that I miss having friends. I miss having people to call on. When I worked at my last job, I had a few different people that I enjoyed spending time with and laughing with even if it was just at the job. I kind of felt like I had a circle of people that understood me because of the job that I did. But once I left, it just all stopped. And I missed that camaraderie in my life. So if you find friends you really click with, keep them close to you as much as possible, okay? Because you never know when you might need a friend or two to just talk to, just to chill with, just to throw things off of, to, you know, back and forth ideas, have fun with. Friends are needed. Number 11, you must write down your goals. I know you probably heard this before, but knowing your goals and writing them down go hand in hand. This is your roadmap that will lead you in the right direction. So write down your goals. No matter how big, how small, it doesn't matter. Have a goal book if you must, right? I think that's a good idea. Have a goal book. Number 12, learn your lessons or they will repeat themselves in different ways. See, trust, trust me. A lot of times we say we've learned our lesson from a mistake we've made or a crazy time in our lives. But then one day, that same issue will arise and we react the same way we did last time it happened. And the cycle starts all over again. Whatever problems keep arising in your life, it doesn't matter if it's money issues, relationship issues, work issues, it doesn't matter. You have to learn that lesson why it keeps happening or or it will keep popping up. It will keep popping its ugly head up and you will never be able to get rid of those problems no matter what you do. So you have to learn from them and practice what you learned. <laughs> Number 13, life is a journey but not a destination. I know it sounds super cheesy, I know, I know, I know, but there is no level in life that you can get to and there won't be another level after that. There will always be another goal or level to reach, so don't stop moving forward because until the journey ends, you have new levels to reach every day, every month, every year, all right? Number 14, your partner is everything. I've been with my wife over 15 years. 
And I knew this before, but this year really hit me hard. She is everything to me. And without her, I don't know what my life would look like. She has shown me so much and poured into me so much with her love and her consistency. It has changed me to the point of when I look at who I was just a few years ago and I don't recognize him. So get you somebody that you can count on and see how your life changes for the better. Number 15, financial freedom is not everything. It's the only thing that separates you from the struggles of life. But it doesn't mean that you are free to do what you want when you want. It actually means the opposite. To keep up that financial freedom, you actually have to go harder than you ever thought you would need to. You have to become a different person. You have to progress. You have to keep going. You have to keep pushing. You have to keep just going, 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 right? You can't stop. Number 16, family just means you are related. That's it. Besides that, it's up to you to make more meaning out of the relation, right? I'm not going into detail about that. If you know, you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. Trust me. Number 17, quality over quantity. Quality people in your life, quality food, quality time is really the spice of life. Everything else is just in the way. That's it. Number 18. <laughs> Never delete your videos off of YouTube. If you're a YouTuber like me, then I will tell you never delete your old videos, even if you don't like them. I lost a big portion of my AdSense income when I went crazy and deleted my old videos. It really hurt my income and I really didn't understand what happened and why, but it did. Number 19, running a business is not something you just do. I've learned this in 2023. It is who you are until you get to the point where it functions on its own and becomes its own living, breathing organism. Until then, it's you. You cannot and you will not be able to separate the business from your personal life because without you, it won't survive. It's that simple, right? Everyone in your life has to be behind this business. You are going to need their support unless you're a single man with no responsibilities outside of you. And even then, your friends will probably have to support you to stay friends with you because you're going to be so focused on your business. Other than that, if you have a girl or wife and kids, they have to be in support of you, especially during the early stages. A new founded business rarely works unless you have supporters rooting for you, supporting you, helping you, assisting you, giving you as much help as they possibly can give you and provide for you. Number 20, you have to get knocked down. Yep, there is no way around it. You have to get knocked down. Until then, you won't really understand who you are and what you're made of. If you haven't been knocked down this past year, that's cool. But someday, maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, maybe not this year, but one day you will get knocked down. It's okay. It's a part of life. It's not what happens to you. It's how you react to what happens to you. Okay? I definitely really, 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 really learned that in 2023. Number 21. Life favors the prepared. When you prepare to be rich, then you will be rich. When you prepare to be just like everyone else, then you will be just that, everybody else. When you prepare to be poor and struggling, you will be that way. It's just that simple. Life will always give you what you are prepared for. So you have to prepare for it. If you want to be rich, you have to prepare for being rich every day. 
If you want to be successful, you have to prepare to be successful every day. You can't prepare to be rich and have a preparing for middle class mentality. Number 22, a daughter's love will change you. I don't care who you are. If you spend time with your baby girl, she will have you looking at the world differently. For a man, maybe not for a female, but for a man, it changes you. There is just something about a little girl that really loves her daddy will change him. I know firsthand what a little girl's love can do because I have three sons and one daughter, and that's my youngest. And she has really changed me. And because of her, it's why I go so hard and why I can't ever stop. She has changed me in so many different ways she'll never know. 23, number 23, no one, no one is coming to save you. I've been through a bunch of different things this year, a bunch of different things. And I know you have too, right? But check it, hear me out. <laughs> my, my Kia Sorento just stopped working on me, right? I went and financed a used truck, a GMC, and then I end up getting that repoed because it started to be unrepairable also. Then I go get a new Jeep Trailhawk all while leaving my career job that I worked at for 10 years of my life to go to a different company with a different schedule that helped me and my kids reconnect due to the fact that I was home with them. You know what I'm saying? I was home with them more. But then... I end up getting fired from that job only six months later. 2023 has been a very, very, very long roller coaster ride for me. But now, let's see what 2024 brings, right? All right, let's get it popping. Let's get it going, right, well, builders? I hope you enjoyed listening to me and my story. Let's make 2024 the best year of our lives. I wish you guys much success and abundance. Until next time, Wealth Builders, it's the man, it's the myth, the Wealth Builder himself, Devon Put in Work Burke, signing off for the 23 things I've learned in 2023. Do remember what builders make more, save more, build more. Bad.